uh, you have tied up with retailers. You also have your own branded shops. Uh, what is the, the the formula that drives your expansion plans? If you're looking at new markets, for instance, is it better to go on your own, or is it uh, better to go through? Well, a I think it's uh, it's kind of a multi-pronged. Uh, kind of approach here. You look in every city in India, in, in say every metro, you need to be with a certain class of retailer, you know, uh, to, uh, to to gain. I mean, uh, to to start with. Um, but down the line, what we've seen is uh, uh, we the the kind of range representation, you know, that we want to put forward to 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 say a customer. We probably need to go into a, an exclusive brand outlet, you know, kind of mode. Uh, which uh, rentals permitting and uh, you know we're trying to do but uh, do you need funding for this uh, because uh, p and private equity and you know venture capital funds are uh, the in thing now most most businesses which uh, have a good revenue model are going in for it uh, are you looking at it um, we always need funding i mean there's no question about that but uh, I, I don't think we're ready to dilute um, in the near future um, having said that uh, I also think we we're probably about maybe three years away from from some basic threshold that you know you 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 need to achieve before you you know before you get into really ramping it all up. And God knows three years down the line whether we'd want to you know we want to go that way. We're still content with what we're doing. Where do you see the business say five ten years from now? Say ten years from now. Oh, ten, 10 years, years from now, we should be uh, at least hopefully four times where we are today. So up 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 I guess. I mean, as in heaven. <laughs> okay, you mean it figuratively. But uh, would you? Uh, what are the chances of you being in Goa, laid back life, enjoying it, uh, and uh, or becoming this, you know, mega international tycoon? I think Goa is the place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the relief on your face. Goa. Oh. Is the place. Anyway, I think eventually, uh, eventually, we all gonna, uh, you know, whenever it is, kind of hang hang up and say, listen, that's it, you know. I think it it probably probably be sooner for me than Ranjeev. So uh, I think we probably probably five ten ten years maybe. Yeah, I, I'm sure Ranjeev won't like that because he insists that you are the business side of uh, him. We're two sides of a coin. But when we go into a short break, we'll come back and we'll uh, look at that partnership uh, at a closer level. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back, you're watching The Million Dollar Idea and this week the focus is on the very cool Tantra t-shirts and the man behind it, Ranjeev Ramchandrani. Business success need not translate into a million dollar bank balance, private jets or fast cars. Sometimes it's an opportunity to, well, just do the stuff that you like to do. And there is nothing Ranjeev likes more than spending time with family. As a doting dad and the guy around the house. In fact, Tantra is a quintessential family venture where the partners, as they themselves put it, aren't just brothers-in-law, they're also brothers-in-arms. So what has changed with success? He's the same person that he was maybe 10, 15 years, 15 years back. He's still chilled out. Um, he's as passionate about the things he's passionate about, which you need to ask him about. So how difficult was the journey? Well, tough, but not without some drama. Ranjeev's sister says that they were shocked when Ranjeev told his parents that he was going to be a t-shirt wala. Though she, of course, says she was glad. Uh, well, he irritated me when he was being a budding uh, pathologist. <laughs> and he needed to practice on somebody, you know, taking out blood. So he gave the oh, needle. Seriously, he did that. And I won't forgive him for that. And he got this needle and he said, listen, I need to practice on somebody. So he got this needle and he's like inserting the needle, can't find the vein. And he again pulls out the needle and tries again. And this went on and on and on. For Anjeev, life hasn't changed too much. He does the same things he used to do, travels a lot. But the biggest perk he enjoys with success is the fact that he gets home early at 5 p.m. every evening and lasers through a whole two-day weekend. Well, how many of us can boast of success of that kind? 
Hi, Ronji. Hi there. Welcome to your own house, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Are you? Are you? Why are you laughing? It's a very serious program. Huh? It's a very I'm serious program. But with you, I don't know when you're joking and when you're serious. No, no, it's not that. I'm. I'm basically a serious man. That is, I've got a very serious face. But it's good to kind of, you know, just go crazy inside and um, and and not to take life serious. I think every moment of life, you can be funny. So you can be funny. Huh? That, that's internally. The, that's your but USP. you don't have to laugh. You don't have to show the world that you're laughing. You know, but you can laugh inside and live longer. But tell me something, I'm going to ask you the toughest question first. In this, uh, under this veneer of this guy next door, funny guy and all, is there a hard-nosed businessman saying no, that, no, oh, no. I'm going to expand my empire, etc.? Yeah, not at all. I mean, if, if, if that was so, I would be working today. Today is a Saturday, you know. And uh, we, I, think, I think it's more important to enjoy every day mm -hmm. and whatever you're doing to enjoy every minute. And uh, it's not about fixing figures or turnovers or whatever. It's about living your life by your own rules and I think that's what entrepreneurship is all about. How has success changed your life? Uh, it's made my life better, easier and, uh, and, and, the de and the deadlines are, you know, now there are no deadlines because I set the deadlines, right? So at the end of the day, it's, you know, it's, it's all about you defining your own pace in life. So it's, it's much easier, you know. It's not nice to see you so serious, Ranjeev. So let's, uh, you know, go back no, to the one-liners. <laughs> okay, which is your favorite one-liner on the T-shirts? Um, all which of them. Which describes you the best. Describes yeah. you the you best. You mean the T-shirt? Yeah. I think all of them because all, all of them. All of them describe all, you. All of them are our babies, okay, in a sense. So, I mean, how do you differentiate between one baby and another baby? So, everything that comes out is a delivery process. And when it comes out, it's either liked or not liked or you know it's a star or it's it's an ordinary kind of creatures it's also about irreverence it's also about great attitude uh, yeah which can get you into trouble in a country where people yes. are so sentimental about national pride about regional identities etc you know you have this t-shirt about Rajasthan for instance a great place to beep beep I'm not going to say that because it's you know will be censored but really haven't you gone into trouble because of all this well, we try to have our internal um, you know, uh, censorship, I mean, in that sense that we know um, where to draw the line and uh, we know that there are a few things that you just don't touch, um, which is, which is, you know, religion um, in, in a negative way or politicians for that matter or, you know, other things which people are sensitive about. Over and above that, as long as we're having fun, you know, that's what it's all about. So, um, when did you really get into trouble? Have there been instances when... No, we've, we've, we've had things like people writing to us and saying that, look, uh, you know, you, you know, like we, we, we had a Gandhi image on a T-shirt and somebody objected to that. Or we had um, something, you know, taking off on the Paki, Paki jokes, you know, Pakistanis, so we had a problem with that T-shirt. With a Pakistani delegation who was down here, so things like that, I mean, you know, it's not, nothing... Nothing's gone crazy till now. I mean, right. well, I've heard Bill Clinton sports a Tantra T-shirt. Uh, he bought one here. Paul McCartney. Well, um, uh, um, do you know what they picked up? Uh, well, I'm I'm aware that Paul picked up uh, the classic home T-shirt. At least that's what our dealer told us. But I don't know about Bill Clinton. Maybe it was Vigra or something. I don't know. <laughs> Anyone get nice, me? nice smile, nice laughter. Please record that. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's a way to, of course, deflect attention from what he said. <laughs> but really, Rajiva, something must have changed. I mean, I, I know that you said that uh, you get to do the stuff that you like yeah. doing. But uh, success also means money. Where do you spend it? Or do you well, cash we it haven't, I haven't, I actually haven't made that much money as I should have made. I should have made, we, we should we have all, made. We all, all think should have that made. we should have made more yes, money. Yes. But having enjoyed have been, the benefits and the fruits well, of success, well, considering what that do you do with it? What's your vice? Considering that our brand is so well known, actually it really is well known, not just in India but all over the world. We should have made hundred times more money, but at the end of the day, it's uh, it's more about more about you know just being happy with yourself, I guess. Uh, when you look back at the time that you started your career as a microbiologist, uh, you know if you were to rewind, would you do anything differently? Um, not really, because you learn through your mistakes. <laughs> You know, everything in life is a journey and you hurtle your way in and out of things. And, uh, you know, uh, microbiology has taught me something and so has advertising. And I think you, that makes you what you are right now. You know, this is who I am. And, you know, how can you, you know, you, it may be wired differently, the whole thing about going in the past and changing it, you know. 
That's why you're not supposed to go back in the past and change anything, you know, in those sci-fi movies, you know, because you never know what the future will be or the present will be. Varunji, wish you all the very best and hope Tantra goes from strength to strength. Thank you for being part of the show. Thank you. And that's a wrap on this Million Dollar Idea. Do join us next week. Goodbye.